Size matters. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. But not in the way you think. Let's talk about conceal carrying some rifles. Recently, I've done a lot of content on the idea of concealed rifle carry and integrating a rifle into your everyday carry. I've discussed the cultural aspects of it. I've discussed my reasoning behind why I choose to carry a rifle with me every single day. I've talked about the fact that it's your human right, frankly, to carry a rifle with you every single day. I've even touched on the fact that in some states, the state itself says it's illegal for you to do so. And I know a lot of you that follow my channel and are following my pages, you do it anyway. And I applaud those of you who decide to go to the ends of the earth to protect yourself and your families. Ultimately, I don't make positions on this channel as to where you should stand legally. Ultimately, what I'm trying to do is make you guys think. I'm trying to make you step back and say, where do I stand on the topic of concealed rifle carry? And at what point am I willing to integrate it into my daily routine? And I can't answer all of the hows and whys for you guys, but I've answered this question for myself and I've been carrying a rifle with me every single day now for probably seven years. I've carried rifles like this five inch 300 blackout everywhere with me daily from going to get groceries, to the mall, to movie theaters, and everywhere else in between. So the reason I'm saying that isn't to brag or pat myself on the back. What I'm trying to do is say, I've created a system that works so well with this five inch 300 blackout that I can go anywhere with it and nobody thinks that I have a rifle. Now, the first naysayer comment's probably gonna be OPSEC when they're gonna say, holy cow, man, you're showing people how you carry and you have a big YouTube channel, so now people know that you carry a rifle. And I understand that. And that does possibly pose a risk to me, but I want to talk about this so that you guys have some information and can make better decisions for yourself. So let's go over the actual rifle itself. So the five inch 300 blackout, the upper receiver is made by Veritas Tactical. It is a five inch barrel. It is a heavy profile. It uses a very different gas block than a standard gas block. The end of it is a 5.824 thread pitch. So I've got a silencer co ASR flash hider on the end of that. The twist rate, I forget off the top of my head. I'm gonna put that in a little piece of text on the screen here so you guys have that information. But the ASR flash hider allows me to run my suppressor when I decide to do that. Up top, we got a Surefire X300V. That is a white light and an infrared light because I do use this with night vision quite often. We have a Vortex Spark Solar red dot back here. As far as the lower receiver, we've got a Poverty Pony lower receiver. This is one of the lowers that back in the day I got a tax stamp for. So this is an actual daddy approved SBR. As I became a young father, the idea of protecting my family became almost an obsession for me, but not in an unhealthy or weird way. Just the weight of me having to protect my family became very clear. Nothing changes your mindset like holding a newborn for the first time and realizing it is up to you to keep them safe. So as I started down that path of being prepared for my family, I ultimately landed on a whole new idea of what it looks like to be a modern concealed carrier. And the good news is, we can help you guys out with that. The downside is it can sometimes be confusing and a little bit chaotic to try to figure out what you need and where to get it. And we're here to help you guys out to figure out exactly what you need and what is best for you and your particular situation. So over at Arcanco, we have a ton of different bags, sewn goods, body armor, night vision, thermal, and hard goods for your weapons that are gonna keep you guys in a better prepared state and they're gonna help you train to higher levels. So I put some bags out here on the table today that are my personal everyday carry bags for the weapons that I carry inside my vehicle with me every single day. But the one that I truly wanted to show you guys today was the Vertex Navigator. This is a sling bag that has come in handy for me specifically for my night vision gear. And I wanna open it up and just show you guys what I have on deck. So inside of this bag, I have my Team Wendy helmet that already has my Wilcox G24 mount on it. So what that means is I've got a helmet with ear protection and my helmet mount 
in a very discreet bag that also houses batteries and spare parts for my night vision. And inside the helmet, I keep my binocular night vision device, my Photonis PD Pro Binos. So this particular bag has created a way for me to keep my over $10,000 investment safe, secure, and able to be carried with me every single day. So if you are into night vision and thermal and you're looking for a way to carry your helmet, I highly recommend you check out the Vertex Navigator bag. And if you fall into any of the categories that I described at the beginning of this ad segment and you're a regular dude or gal that wants to get out there and be better trained and better prepared, check out arcane.com. You can see all the gear that we have. We're gonna help you guys to get equipped. Got a law folding adapter on the back of this thing so I can do the flipperoonies and get this thing into a backpack. And frankly, that's one of the most important aspects of any kind of rifle that you're gonna conceal carry daily. You need to be able to fold that buffer tube so you can get it into a bag. We've just got some kind of Magpul stock on the end here, blue force gear sling, got a Geisley, I don't even remember which trigger that is, I think it's an SD3G trigger, which is actually very light. Uh, it's one of my gripes about that particular trigger. Holding the sling in place are sentry straps from the Neomag, and really that's it. I did Cerakote on this thing back in like 2017 or 2018, so that's kind of cool. But otherwise, like this thing is about as bare bones as you get. So why a five inch 300 blackout? Well. When we're looking at being able to incorporate a rifle in your everyday carry, the smaller the bag, the better. So having a five inch barrel allows me to use the transit sling that I have up here. Transit sling is one of the smallest bags from Vertex that still has enough capacity to store gear. So I choose that bag because it blends in very well. And this rifle fits into that bag perfectly. Now, the 300 blackout caliber choice is because of potency of the round. So I'm currently carrying with 125 grain Spear SST, not SST, Spear TNT bullets that when I chronograph them out of this barrel, they're going over 1600 feet per second. So compare that to my Glock 19 shooting 147 grain plus P's. This has way more potency. It's easier to get rounds on target accurately, shoot further distances. So there's a whole lot of arguments for carrying a rifle every single day. So that's why I chose the 300 blackout caliber. I do have 5.56 five, guns that I will carry with me in bags, but they're not really an everyday carry kind of thing in public. They're more going back and forth to work or to our property. So those would be like a 10.3, uh, sometimes a Galil, things like that, but they're too big for me to want to carry every single day. And I'd encourage you guys to look at the different bag videos we just completed because they're going to really paint that picture. So as far as the bag itself, this is the transit sling. This is an older version of this transit sling. We do stock the newer version and there are some differences between this version and the newer version, but for the basic conversation pieces here, they're very similar. They're almost identical. But what I really like about this bag is the size. And I carry my five inch inside of the main compartment. So this main compartment, I think it would probably be for like a 13 inch laptop or something like that. Typically with Vertex bags, they have a concealed carry up <laughs> compartment, which would realistically be in the back over here. But in the back is where I keep a spare magazine in one of our little mag carriers. So this little mag carrier, it's just an accessory that we offer at Arcane. We have different variations of these currently available and we even have different variations coming soon. But this is an easy way to keep a magazine exactly where you want it. And typically, I put that in the concealed carry pouch. And then the rifle goes in here and all of my medical equipment is stored in the front on the Molly webbing. So this bag really is not a bug out bag. This bag is not a go survive in the wilderness bag. This bag and this rifle are for one specific task. They are to blend in everywhere from city buses to a train to, like I said, movies, anywhere, literally anywhere. I don't care where you're at. You could blend in with this setup and not raise any alarm. And that's my objective with this particular loadout. So I hope that that was helpful. I know that it was just sort of a really quick overview. I didn't really go in depth into a lot of different things. If you want to see more content like this, let me know and I can get more specific about it. But generally speaking, I've been carrying this five inch 300 blackout for many, many, many years. It's done really well for me. It did just recently start to malfunction the last range day that we had it out. This thing needs a deep, deep cleaning because we just hammered the crap out of it with a full auto lower. We shot a bunch of videos with that over the last couple months and it just really needs disassembled, cleaned, and put back together, and then we'll be back in action. Um, and contrary to popular belief, 
When this thing is running good, it does shoot subsonic or supersonic ammo, suppressed and unsuppressed. It is a, a very awesome setup. So guys, I hope that that was helpful to you. If it was, let me know down in the comments section and please pay this video forward by sharing it with a friend or family member or your least liked liberal friend that hates guns. That would be fine with me as well. Appreciate you guys. Stay well, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.